right, well, I'm not really liking what I'm seeing here. Um, I don't know, I just don't like the look of it. it this will work. 100% this, this will work, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like the way it sits, it looks. So, I might go back to this, I don't know. But at this stage, I will be pulling apart and just making up a bracket in the middle. Two, um, two right angle brackets either side of this uh, shock mount. And we'll go from there. So I'll bolt it to this alloy. I went to Bunnings. It's a little thin, it's only 1.4 mil thick. If I want to go the next size up, which is 4 mil, that's all I had, was uh, double the price. So me being a tight ass and thinking, oh, I've got to save a bit of weight, can't make it too heavy. I could have got a bit of steel as well, but don't want to make it too heavy. This is pretty heavy duty. Yeah, so I'll we'll pull apart, try and work out a system for a right angle bracket go from there all right been at it for a while and this is what I've come up with um, so it should work Had a fair few issues with it obviously it's not made for a plate to be there so I I did drill two more holes here but uh, even though they got the rounded off heads uh, it's still still hitting something there so unless I put a really small one I'll see if I can put a really small one there um, but other than that Not wonky or anything. I'm a little worried that um, this alloy might be a little bit too thin. So worst case scenario, I've done all the drilling. I've done everything. Uh, I'll just put a thicker, thicker angles, and these I'll just use these as a t as a template. So it's taken me a while today, but. Uh, it's nearly done. Here, I'm just going to put that there, and when I put that together, I'll just put a, another bolt through there that'll hold everything together here. So yeah, so this way there's a lot more clearance, um, and these don't. I might have to replace these. I'll replace these ones. I think I've chewed into it a bit too much. See if I can do some more tomorrow, that'd be good. And once this is all done and dusted, just got to make a bracket for that servo. That's pretty much it. What I did notice actually is when I was um, mucking around with the rear arm, could actually fit the rear arms on this setup uh, but the only thing I notice is that the pins the pins for the cups on the Baja like you'd probably have to get the five SC cups which are the bigger cups and then you could use this all you have to do is just um, I think it's on this side just dremel out maybe 10 mil is it 10 mil? Yeah, it's um, the Baja ones are 80, 80 mil, 
and these ones are 90 so yeah 10 mil just gotta get 10 mil off the end and you could use the the lossy arms and with this all you need to do is rip out that ball section here put a little sleeve of some sort some type if you got anything I've, I've managed to get some and just um, push it through there and bang put some spaces in between it's a little bit of muck around but I reckon you could do it um, might do it might do it at a later stage I don't know Let's see how we go but uh, see how this goes see if this holds up another day spending a few hours on this thing I'm hoping it all works out so I might put all the rear together and see if it all works see if all the gears and everything marries up good uh, and then on to the next thing with the bracket I can't see this being too difficult but uh, there's always some that comes up I guess so yeah let's put this together and see how it goes this two speed was really testing my patience I can tell you mama mia I'm hoping after all this because there is a, there is a, uh, a one way bearing in there um, just hoping I'll put it the right way around otherwise I'm gonna have to pull it apart again not a massive deal but annoying um, so yeah it's pretty much all done it doesn't look the prettiest uh, it would have looked better if those bolts weren't sticking out but I have to do it from the bottom up otherwise it just hits things underneath so that's a lot of support there but it's a lot of pressure on that join of the right angle so I don't know if it'll work out we'll see eh but there's uh, no movement no movement whatsoever so that's good and there's a lot more clearance there now this way around the shock the shock is just better I think this is just a better setup probably looks better than the last one as well I reckon it looks way better than the last setup so and I can adjust these to what I want because these are maxed out already for height wise so I'm relying on these and there's no there's no other adjustment holes here so yeah anyway so now let's do this bracket eh all right so we've made some progress this pretty much is all ready to go as I mentioned I've put the carby back on I've taken the servo off I cut a little piece off here I dremeled a little bit more so it would fit like that and now I've just made a this is a bit, uh, bit of overkill, but um, it's like, I don't know, 3 mil steel. So I'm about to mount it like that. So I've just got to work out where the mounting holes are. And then cut section out for the servo. She's done. Sounds easy, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, getting there, getting there. Um, made the bracket up. Which was quite painful to do. Uh, just haven't got the right tools to do all these things really. So, drilling holes and then it slips and then the hole doesn't line up and ah, it's just. So that's it there anyway. So bracket will go there like that. And then I was about to put it on, but I need to 
need to chew through this plastic a bit more and uh, yeah, sort of getting late in the day again so I'm going to leave it but that's pretty much how it will sort of sit like that uh, hopefully it's not too much flex I was going to make a, a lot beefier bracket but it was getting real heavy so I thought I'll we'll see, see how this goes uh, I should always double up on the on the top plate if it flexes, but I doubt it.